Attached to React are a plethora of new terms, tooling, uh, and just general companion technologies to make working with React easier. So as we're using React, we're not only going to use React, and this entire course is not only about React. We're also going to cover some other companion tools uh, along the way that make working with React a lot easier. One of these key technologies that we're going to be making use of is JSX, or JavaScript, JavaScript extension. JSX, it's an extension JavaScript. Uh, it allows you to write what looks like HTML inside of our JavaScript. And when you hear that, you might think, wait, wait a second, this is getting weird. HTML in my JavaScript. Almost every developer who first hears of this concept has immediate hangups uh, because a lot of developers are told very early on that writing jQuery code uh, that you know might look something like this, where let's say that we've got some button and we're gonna attach a click handler if you're not familiar with jQuery, by the way, don't sweat it. I'll, I'll walk through what's going on here in just a second. Uh, so let's say when I click on this button container, I'm going to append um, a string. It's going to be an H1, and it's going to say you have clicked the button. And one of the first things that we learn when we start writing JavaScript is code that looks like this is a real bad, uh, real bad pattern to follow, a code where we are putting HTML directly into our JavaScript. And the reason is that it gets really hard to reason about, really hard to track down uh, where these changes in our document are being made from when we see code like this, where the HTML just sits within our JavaScript. So a lot of people, when they hear about JSX, which is uh, HTML in our JavaScript, they start to get a little bit weirded out and they think, well, that this just sounds strange. Um, and I was definitely one of those people as well. When I first heard about React, I heard about this concept of JSX something that starts off is really hard to digest. Uh, but when we look at a couple samples of JSX, and as we go through this tutorial, you're gonna find out that putting our HTML with our JavaScript is actually something that is quite handy and it's almost one of the strengths of React. Uh, so what is JSX? Having said all that, well, let's look at what JSX looks, uh, looks like in progress. So we're just gonna make an imaginary function here and we're going to write our first bit of JSX inside of it. So I'm going to return div, and it's going to contain hello world, and I'm going to close that tag off. All right, so this is JavaScript I've written. Well, this is JSX, and uh, this probably looks pretty familiar. I'm going to say this is an object right here, and it's going to contain a key render, and the render's value is going to be a function, if we ever run this function, it's going to return div hello world with closing div. And so this is real JavaScript right here. So I can put, uh, you know, var a and a, we'll just say console log a plus one. So this is real JavaScript, but I have insert in here some JSX. And so you can see it just completely violates any syntax rules you may have learned. So the first thing uh, to reiterate about J JSX is that we're putting exactly what looks like HTML inside of our JavaScript. Um, now, before we can run this code, however, uh, inside of a browser, uh, we need to compile it to JavaScript. So whenever we write JSX, it needs to be compiled to JavaScript before it runs into our browser. So whenever we see this, this HTML inside of our JavaScript, it's really what's referred to as syntactic sugar. So when JSX is converted to JavaScript, it is actually converting it to a whole bunch of function calls uh, that, that will create in React's world an HTML structure that looks like this. So this code right here ends up getting converted to JavaScript in a way that can actually be interpreted by the browser. So the browser, again, it does not natively know how to deal with this. So in particular, if we were to uh, convert this individual function right here to JavaScript, so we'll say, uh, this is JSX, and we will compile or transpile to JS. What we end up with is something that looks like function, and then we'll return div null, and it has contents of hello world. So when we write our React component, we're going to use JSX. When we expect our browser to render it, 
to, to actually execute this code, it must be first compiled to JavaScript. And when it gets compiled to JavaScript, it ends up looking like this. So you can kind of imagine when we're writing React. We don't really want to be writing uh, code that looks like this all day, right? We want to be writing nice, you know, easy to reason about uh, JSX because it's a lot easier to look at this little bit of code right here and say, okay, I have a div. It has the contents, hello world, as opposed to this right here where I have react.create element, blah, 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 blah. Uh, and uh, especially when we start nesting more components inside of this uh, or more HTML tags inside of this, this, this function call is going to be a lot more confusing. So in the following sections, uh, we're going to look a lot more closely at JSX and its application. But for right now, uh, let's just recap on a few takeaways of JSX. Uh, JSS, JSX, it's an extension of JavaScript that write, lets us write what looks like HTML inside of our JavaScript, alongside our JavaScript. Uh, JSX must first be compiled from, JavaScript, uh, from JSX to JavaScript so that the browser can actually understand what's going on. You know, the browser does not understand JSX. It needs to first be compiled to JavaScript. And the reason we use JSX is because it gets a lot, it's a lot more clear and concise about uh, the actual HTML structure of our React components than what the equivalent JavaScript looks like. So um, in the next section, we're going to be doing our first component, and we're going to write some JSX, and I hope to see you there.